It was 25 years ago when I first saw objects made with Shibayama technique at an antique store. I really liked how meticulous and detailed such an object could be. I immediately became fascinated by the quality of their surface and other traits. For a long time I've been admiring these artifacts from afar, till one day I realized that this delicacy that today's jewelry lacks could be adapted. Using my knowledge as an engraver, I tried to create something similar. Since I couldn't find any description on how these artifacts had been made in Japan, I tried to work out a technique of my own. I kept engraving, sawing, polishing and slowly, as I kept making more and more pieces, and I was getting closer to the quality that I expected and wished to reach. Naturally, when it comes to some of these ancient artifacts, there are still many things I could not puzzle out. What is my style, you ask? I make jewelry using this technique, although I barely found Japanese jewelry of this technique. Usually, Shibayama technique was used for adorning boxes vases, furniture or for making ornaments. Probably it never occurred to the Japanese, due to different cultures of jewelry varying in Europe and Japan, that this technique could be used for making jewelry. So the fact that I apply the Shibayama technique for jewelry making is unique of a kind and I can call it my own. I try to use Japanese imagery in the compositions, but as I am Hungarian, I cannot create things in the same fashion as a Japanese artist would, nor do I want to achieve such goals. I would like to contribute to the connection of these two countries, these two cultural landscapes.